right, this is Craig again with the Ponix Haven. I'm here on my front porch. I want to make a video here to show how to make one of these raining towers. So this is part one. Um, what you're going to need for this is a 5-inch piece of 6-inch PVC pipe, which is thin wall. You can use thick wall if you want to, but I use thin wall. It seems to work better. You're going to need something to cut the holes um, with. You understand you can use a um, sawzall or something else. You know, I, this is why I choose to use. You probably use a, a um, grinder with a metal cutting wheel, thin metal cutting wheel. Um, but this seems to, this doesn't catch too bad and take a chance of messing something up. So it's real easy. You can buy this at Harbor Freight for 20 bucks. A blade is seven dollars and something, so you're not spending a lot of money. It's worth to buy one. You're gonna need a black magic marker, and and you're going to need a tape measure. Um, I have a jig that I made to mark the holes. Let me get it up here. Um, there is an A side and a B side, which you'll understand here pretty quick. Um, but I'm going to call out A and I'm going to call out B. The numbers, you can write these down. It's 5, 13, 21, 29, 37. And then B is 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40. That will give you 20 holes to plant to plant on this so um, I marked it out on one single thing so you'll understand it, it makes it a lot easier um, this is what I came up with you can come up with something a little bit better knock yourself out I'm just trying to show you how that I did it so try to make things a little easier um, first off you're going to have to take and mark four sides on your pipe. I've got one here, 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 and here. Now, you can do it some time scientific way. I'm not a smart man. I don't know how to, you know, I probably could figure out how to get the center of it, but I just eyeballed it. It's good enough for me. Might not be for somebody else, but for me to make this video, um, I just eyeballed it. But get your four four spots marked um, that is going to be your your reference line of setting each, each line of um, holes. Alright, so let's get started. Alright. Here we are. We got the first mark. Let me get it dead top. So, I'm just going to eyeball it. Like I said, you may want to try to do do it a little bit better than that, but we're going to start off with A here. So what you're going to do, you're going to mark A, and you're going to mark like that. And then go to the next one. Go to the next A. The next one. Say, okay. Now, you're going to turn it to the one, the next one. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to mark, make sure it's at the edge, we're going to mark B. Okay? So, is the first one, the second one, third one, fourth one, and uh, number five. There you have it. So you'll turn it. Now this one is right across from the first one we did. 
So it's going to be A again. So we get it to where it looks. So we mark it. Turn it to the next one. Make sure it's at the edge. Here. So we mark B on this one. I see it's right across from where the B was marked. Now, here we go. We're done with that. There is your your marks for if you notice if I stand this up you notice how they are how they're catty cornered from each other but the ones that are dry right across from each other is at the same height so all right so. When you get that done, the next thing is cutting the holes. All right. Now, if you look at this blade on this, one thing I like about this thing is that this blade is... Hold on just a second. This blade is exactly three inches. Okay? That is what you're going to need to cut to make the two inch hole. Yeah, it sounds like it's a little big, but it's not so anyway if you want to you can you can take and um run a straight line across there mark your three inch and but all i do is center this and cut so this is how Now we've got all the holes cut. Um, noticed I went back and marked this to get it straighter. I was trying to do it without it, but um, just was not getting it straight enough. So anyway, I went back and marked and then got all of them cut. So now we got them cut. So the next process will be um, heating the area up and and um stretching it and forming it for the cups to set in all right well this is part one of the rain tower stay tuned for more videos to come on part two of how to build the raining tower
This is Craig with Ponix Haven. God bless.